BAM, Mike Stanton. It's November 10th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David's based in our San Francisco office. Thanks for joining me, David. Hey, Mike. Uh, for an interesting week in the markets, uh, muni yields grinding lower, kind of moving along with the Treasury market. What did you see? Yeah, so this week, um, in terms of economic data, it was you know relatively lackluster. Uh, you know, we are following um, last week's Fed meeting and jobs number. Uh, ultimately, what we're seeing is a, a continuation rally in both equities and bonds. Um, you know, all of this week really felt uh, much calmer. And again, that's relatively speaking. Um, but that was until a, you know, very weak treasury auction sent treasury yields, you know, anywhere between 10 to 16 basis, basis points higher, depending on the tenor. And for munis, despite some cuts on the longer end, MMD is still looking to end the week on another high note. Um, you know, I think right now we're looking at eight to 12 basis points lower than last Friday's levels. And if you look at November, November's actually been a really good month for munis. Um, I think we're seeing MMD down anywhere between 32 to 35 basis points, depending on the curve. Um, so I think historically speaking, November has been a pretty, you know, positive month for munis. And, and that's, again, what we're seeing right now. Um, in terms of Lipper, uh, we're seeing about 151 million of outflows, uh, which brings uh, year-to-date outflows to about 15 billion. And so, the, despite that, uh, those outflows, uh, the 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 head uh, the tailwinds for the muni market uh, helped a lot of the new issues get priced this week. What kind of activity did you see in the uh, primary market? Yeah, so 12 billion of supply this week. Uh, again, last week uh, with the Fed meeting, uh, a lot of that supply was kind of left on tap. Um, so this week, you saw 700 million in uh, Calgio, you saw 600 million in Denver Airport. Um, but for BAM, another big week. Uh, we insured 22 transactions for 324 million of par. Uh, there was a $170 million city of Fishers, Indiana lease transaction with Raymond James. And we partially wrapped that. Um, I think the last three maturities uh, for about 107 million of par. And then there was a $60 million El Rancho USD California deal um, across two series with Piper Sandler. And we're kind of counting down to the end of the uh, year in terms of uh, weeks that are uh, functional for the new issue market to price deals. Uh, next week, about $8 billion on the calendar nationwide. Uh, what do you see from the uh, BAM insured world? Yeah, uh, another big week. Um, we're currently expecting about $500 million of insured par. Uh, that's going to be led by a $200 million Indianapolis hotel project, uh, which is actually a city moral law of security. And that's with Piper, uh, Piper Sandler. Um, there is a, another Cape Coral water and sewer uh, deal in Florida with Morgan Stanley. And that's another $100 million um, issuance. Uh, if our viewers remember, we just wrapped um, about $100 million a few weeks ago. Um, so there's another one coming uh, next week. And then lastly, I just wanted to highlight the $42 million Palmdale Financing Authority, again, across two series, um, and that's going to be with Hilltop. And uh, stretching a little lower than we usually do, but $39 million from the Marshall School District in Missouri, a certificates of uh, participation transaction. Again, we don't see a lot of uh, Missouri school districts. This one, uh, the structure worked out and so was, uh, was approved by BAM's credit committee. That's going to be priced by Raymond James. Well, thanks for your time this week, David. Have a good weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Mike.